Hey everyone, it's Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel back again. Today we are reviewing the Uniformation GK3 Pro. The next evolution of the beloved GK2 series. It's got some serious upgrades and I can't wait to show you what makes this printer stand out. So let's start with the aesthetics. The GK3 Pro looks absolutely premium, sleek lines, solid build, and that signature green cantilever style lid. But what really caught my eye was this 90 degree tilting screen. For me, it's a game changer for the viewing angles and your workspace flexibility. Uniformation has introduced a dedicated resin bottle that works with their auto resin feed system. It's triggered by the built-in VAT sensor and when you lift the lid you'll find a build plate drip holder as well which is super handy and an internal air purification system that recirculates the air using a charcoal filter secured by magnets. The GK3 Pro includes a HD camera for monitoring prints and recording time lapses and with the linear rail and the single rod your printer is going to stay stable and precise every time. Also loving the push latch system on the build vat and a smart upgrade for the old screw handles. You also get a vat cover to protect the resin from UV lights and a leveling bubble controlled by two adjustable feet which can be found underneath the printer. It's a thoughtful touch that makes it set up easier every time. So let's take a look at the air purification point. You can see that the airflow will remain internally and not be exhausted externally. It comes with activated charcoal filter which has four magnets to attach with ease. With the airflow staying internal, no external exhaust here, around the back you've got a power port, a Wi-Fi dongle, Ethernet and a motherboard fan. Lifting that gorgeous screen and you'll find the power button, the USB port right up the front and the UI is in, in, intuitive. And once you have the printer on, you are greeted with a super bright LED light at the top. Left tab shows the internal files, middle tab for the USB files, and the right tab for previously printed items. Settings let you adjust fat heating, preheat functions, and more. You can also update the firmware over Wi-Fi and access the printer's details. Using the Z-axis tab, you can lift the build plate holder and remove the vat cover. The resin vat is surprisingly lightweight and features dual handles and a pouring spout that's a big improvement over other brands. K3 Pro uses a CPFA film for smoother peeling and a longer lasting print. Pairs that with the 16K display and the 385 nanometer UV light source and you get a razor sharp detail. You can test the light source directly from the screen and it's working perfect. PCB Way are a PCB board manufacturer. They do standard PCBs, advanced PCBs, FPC and rigid flex, assembly items, SMD stencils, and even CNC and 3D printing. Head over to their website for this really easy guide. Any projects that you have that you want carried out, they can do that just with this simple drag and drop section. They give you an instant quote, and that is pcbway.com, today's video sponsor. Now let's test the light source on this before we do any prints. The first thing you want to do is select from the user functions. First remove the VAT. You have a number of different light displays to test this out just to make sure that the screen is working, especially if it's just been delivered. And then when you've completed that, replace the VAT ready to start printing.
Okay, so now what you wanna do is put your USB stick into the USB slot and you can have the screen up or down for that is not a bother, you can access that easy. Um, you'll find on there files that you can print, there's some pre-sliced files, it's always a good idea to check those out and see whether your bed is level. The other thing is you will have some slicer programs on there, but do be aware that they may not be the current version of that particular ver um, slicer program, so G2, etc. So you definitely wanna get them off the internet and have the current live version. So for the test print and the resin bottle, the printer does come with an empty resin bottle as standard. So it was great if you want to use your own resin and use the auto feed system. So definitely check that out. Um, avoid mixing any of your resins together just in case. Obviously that's not going to be ideal and probably end up scrapping your resin. So just maybe clearly mark it on their bottle and you can purchase them on their website um, so that you can use this non-return valve on it. So for the leveling and auto feed, even though it's factory leveled, it's smart to recheck it and just double check it. You do end up with a supplied piece of paper for leveling and you also have four tabs. So what you wanna go and do is lift the Z height to the home and test all four corners. So basically place the paper down on the uh, screen itself and then put for four tabs in each of the four corners. So one tab in each corner. Um, make sure that the vat is empty and removed. And once you've done that, press home and it should end up going to that exact moment. So what you wanna do is then pull the tabs in all four corners and if there's resistance, it should be okay. If you need to make any changes, obviously refer to the instruction manual supplied with this printer. So let's activate the auto resin feed. The printer has recognized that the vat is empty and activates the sensor and the resin will be pumped in by the install bottle and the pump system into the vat itself. And yes, of course you can do the traditional method of just topping it up yourself and it will auto top up throughout your resin print, which is a great addition. Okay, so now what I want to do is show you some models that I've printed on the Uniformation GK3 Pro. Now I have selected some models that were on the USB, um, but mostly I want to focus on some of the ones that I've sliced myself. And some of these models are such as the Looney Tunes Halloween version from the Nostalgic 3D Patreon that I'm with. I have been showcasing their models on a lot of my other um, reviews and I must say their models are high standard and this resin printer the Uniformation GK3 Pro definitely shines out for me and shows the quality of both the model and the printer so let's just check out some of those models on screen now and then what we'll do is we'll turn back and have a final thought on this Uniformation GK3 Pro. Okay, so that's the nostalgic 3D models printed. I did have a failure on the Tweety Bird leg. That is literally down to the supports itself, not the printer. Um, overall stunning quality. Um, I've done a larger version, which I'll show in the video a bit later. Um, all of these models printed perfectly. The detail is absolutely stunning. And the models and the printer together have created this stunning print as you've seen in the, in the video just shown. So now let's take a few minutes to check out some of the models that we have been printing on the GK3 Pro. Some of the models are models that I've sliced and some of the models that I've found on the actual SD card. So if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe to this video and any comments, drop them in the comment section and uh, hope you stay with us for the rest of the video.
So what I wanted to do now is just show you some detailed versions of prints. So I downloaded this highly detailed model and this is going to actually test the limits of this printer. So as you can see the uniformation wording has come out really really clear. It's got all the clear markings and everything is super detailed. And up against this one pound coin you can see the size and the actual clarity of that. And this is with the 16K resolution screen and the 285 nanometer. So that for me is going to show detail really, really well. And as you can see from the models on screen now, that is super crisp and for me ticks all the boxes. The one thing I have enjoyed with this printer is the ease of use. Even for someone who's a novice for resin printing, it has been an, an absolutely amazing experience from the moment I unboxed it to the final prints that I've done on this so far. Everything has come out exactly as I imagined and the, the fact that it uses this clear resin, the, the normal resin, all sorts of opportunities are opened up with the 385 nanometer UV light source. So for the next model, I decided to print off the Oni mask from STL Flix. As you can see, I used the clear red resin from Sunlu and it's come out super crisp. All the details are really, really clear. And this model really details how this 16K resin printer with the 385 NM uh, capabilities of light sensor, um, it is really come to show its full potential on this print. Okay, so what I want to do now is just go over the specs for the Uniformation GK3 Pro. It has a 16K resolution screen, it is 385 on the UV light source, it is ball screw driven as well and it is farm ready and you have the smart app to go with it. It is awesome for transparent printing which is great with the 385 nanometer screen. So with this being an auto resin feed, you don't have to worry about your prints running out of resin, but you do have the manual as well. I also like the built in lighting, so it's great for time lapses and also the 90 degree rotating screen for me was one of the standout features for this. You also have the side mounting to dry your build plate, which is an awesome addition. Okay, so that brings us to the end of today's review on the Uniformation GK3 Pro. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope I've showcased some of these models and the capabilities of this printer. Um, I will be leaving a link in the description where you can pick up this. And I do have some discount codes for all of my followers, so definitely check that out if you're interested in this. As I say, there are three variations of the GK series. There's the GK3, the GK3 Pro, and the GK3 Ultra. And this particular review is on the GK3 Pro, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And once again, thanks to Uniformation for sending me this to review.